Hello friends. So today I'm going to make um, one of three videos. Probably going to do them on three different days. I think my phone's crooked. And I have you sitting on a cake plate. So um, let's hope this works. But anyway, I'm making three different videos. And uh, this is going to be about dog treats. Because I'm a dog mom. I'm a, I'm a human mom too. My kids do not like when I just wear this and... You know, I guess I need a human mom t-shirt. But anyway, um, so my doggies, there's three treats in particular that they love. And um, so I'm going to do three different videos on those and try to upload them all in the same one. If they're not too long, which they're probably going to be. But anyway, I've got three sweet potatoes. So you want to take those and um, clean them and scrub them. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with them. So here we go. Give me a second. Okay. So let me adjust this and let's get started. All right. Let me see if you can see this. Um, I'm at the other end of my camera this time too. Thought maybe that might help. All right. I'm just going to show this for a little bit. So I have this mandolin and I got it at Walmart. It was, I think, it's under $20. And as you can tell, I've done this before because of the stain. And I've got it on here because these old tile countertops, and also I painted the grout, so that's why it looks a little rugged sometimes. I have to uh, touch it up. But anyway, they, it wants to um, stain that. So what I do is I just cut off the ends, and if I have any bad spots, I'll cut those off. And then I take it, and before I put this on it, and I've cut myself before on several things, so I just have to try to pay attention. I just kind of want to see, and that'll happen right there, and that's okay. I just, I just do that and then do that. But let me get these nice little slices to see where you are. So I'm going to slice all three of these up, and I even keep these. I mean, we do them, do them all. And at this point, I'm going to put this little doohickey thingy on here because, like I said, I don't want to cut myself. And see, this happens. It's not the end of the world. I'll just do this. Here we go. Almost. Oh, that's, that's very dangerous. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave that one. All right. I'm gonna finish these up, and then when I come back, I'll show you what I'm doing next. All right, so I got all three of them sliced up, and I'm not sure how thick that is, but this helps. And then you just wanna take your biggest ones and lay them on your um, dehydrator. Now, this is a very basic, and it says back to basic, oh gosh, I got hair on me, uh, food dehydrator. I got that. Oh, gosh, when my husband and I first got married 20 years ago, I guess. And honestly, I didn't use it forever and ever, and it's been put up in the box. And um, so I just started, I saw these sweet potatoes one day, oh, like last year, for sale in um, TJ Maxx or whatever. And they were so expensive for just like three of them. And I was like, that's insane. So, and plus, you know, I mean, why not just make your own? So anyway, I got out the old food dehydrator and um, tried this one day and it worked and they love it. What I do is after, after they are done, I um, store them in a bag in, a, in the refrigerator and, um, you know, give them one a day to chew on. So they're like chews. It depends on how hard you want to make them. You can make them, you can cook them long enough that they're leathery or um, softer. It just depends how you want to do it. So, I'm not going to use all my trays, but, uh, and this, this dehydrator does not have a temperature on it, so I have no idea if you have a dehydrator. I don't feel like I should put that one on there for just these. That's, that's silly. I'm going to go back and figure this out. Um, I feel like if you have one if a if you have a food dehydrator with temperatures on it. I really don't know anything about that um, because I've never used one. But I know for mine, this is probably whatever the lo lowest temperature is. I'm gonna compost that. 
it's probably what it is because I have to run this when I do these at this thickness for mm, about 10 hours and I will move the trays around and I try to put the biggest ones on the bottom but sometimes they're all kind of the same. So anyway, I've got this many trays so I'm just gonna get this going and uh, rotate these around and I started early um, and then I'll let you know when I'm done at the end of the day how these turned out. So see y'all later. Found a little remote control for my stand too, which makes it easier to turn this thing on. Okay, I thought I would at least show you guys the box in case anyone was asking, would ask me here. I don't even know if they still make or sell them like this anymore. Like I said, this is at least um, 20 years old, but it works and um, does great treats. So there it is. Okay, so um, I was wrong about how long these would take. Um, I think I started them at 9 this morning, but I, I did not have it full like the last time. It took a lot longer the last time because I had it full. But I don't want them cracking. I want them chewier. And this is a good consistency, I think. So I'm going to let these just cool. See, that one cracks. But I'm going to let these cool down. And then I'm going to just store them in a baggie in the fridge, and the fur babies love them. But anyway, it's 3.30 now, and I started at nine, so let's see, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, was that six and a half hours, so six and a half hours. I mean, just, just check on them, and, and I did move the trays around through the day. So um, anyway, I'm happy with them. They're not hot, I turned them off a while ago. Let me see if I can get a video of the babies with them. I'll give them one of these little ones because it's almost time for them to eat their dinner. Okay. Girl. Okay. Here you go, Belle. Muck. That's a good boy. Buddy usually does not eat these. He thinks he wants them. Here, buddy. You want it? Oh, he took it. Okay. He's going to take his in. Here's Sassy Girl. They have to smell because they're kind of spoiled. Well, was it good? Yeah. You love these, don't you? Okay, you'll get a big one tomorrow each. Say, so we love them, guys. Give them a try for your doggies.